Hello everyone. My name is Taranam Khan and it's my absolute privilege and honor to be a part of the Ontario Culture Days one more time. The stories in there are of courage, of inspiration, of facing challenges and finding our paths. Have a listen to what the authors had to say and enjoy. Hello everyone. I am Daisy Wright, Chief Encouragement Officer at the Wright Career Solution. I am also the Chief Architect behind the Let's Grow Project, an initiative I started several years ago to impact the lives of women and build a community, one woman at a time. The project has evolved over the years and on International Vision Board Day, January 13th, 2020, I hosted a visioning event where a group of us met to plan our vision for the year. The event brought focus to the concept of 2020 vision, where we would reflect on the past decade and gain clarity as we embrace the next stage of our journey. We planted a seed to write a book, chronicling aspects of our lives, and as a result, the book, 21 Resilient Women, Stories of Courage, Growth and Transformation, was born. These 21 Resilient Women from diverse cultures and backgrounds, collaborated to share their stories of disappointment, hope, and determination. If you're looking for inspiration, continue watching this video and listen to some of these women as they recount their stories and their involvement in the Let's Grow Project. I want to leave you with these words of encouragement. Never doubt your capability. Commit to taking action and surround yourself with people who will support your vision. Finally, I want to thank the 20 other women who contributed to this project. Hello, I'm Tanya Sinclair, and I'm one of the co-authors of 21 Resilient Women. Um, and it's just a, an amazing experience getting together with 21 uh, local women and sharing our stories and deciding to get together to actually write a book in the middle of a pandemic. We, we decided to put our our thoughts and our stories to good use, uh, hopefully to motivate others. My story is actually chapter four in the book. It's on page 43 and it's called Still I Rise. And, um, you know, the story itself is a 10 page story, a little bit of humor, talking a bit about uh, some of the challenges that racialized women go through early in life, as well as some of the challenges that we face in the world of work. But more than that, um, I, I think really I just wanted to share that the experience of getting together and hearing the stories of others, um, sometimes we feel that our stories are not so unique, or maybe you feel that your experience is not so unusual. But putting pen to paper and really getting your thoughts out, um, sometimes you just don't know what an inspiration your journey might be to someone else. I know that there are 21 stories in, in this novel that uh, Daisy compiled, and I was inspired by all of them, each and every story. So thank you uh, for making the time to put this um, opportunity together to talk about the story. I encourage you to read the entire book. Uh, if you don't have the book, go on Amazon and get it. And um, yeah, learn about some of the local stories from regular people in your neighborhood. Thank you. Hello, my name is Angela Lewis. I am a wife, 
a mother, a grandmother, a retiree, and now a co-author of 21 Resilient Women, Stories of Courage, Growth, and Transformation. This project rekindled my love for writing. It was therapeutic. It also connected me with an amazing sisterhood as it revealed some pain points. My story tells of the growth and transformation and you will find it on page 103, which is chapter 11 in the book. Enjoy the read. Hi and Asalaamu Alaikum everyone. I'm one of the co-authors of 21 Resilient Women, Stories of Courage, Growth and Transformation. I joined 20 other diverse, resilient women to contribute my part of the mural as to what makes us all part of one human family, despite what makes us look and sound different. My chapter is my small attempt to change the dark picture that's been painted about Islam. I'm a very successful team manager in a major telecommunication in Canada. I'm also a proud mom of three, an author, a public speaker, an artist and activist for social justice, inclusion and diversity. I too imagine that we can live in the world as one. You can call me a dream. Hi, my name is Pavisha Simpson and I'm extremely happy to be a part of Brampton Library's 12th anniversary of Culture Days. I'm one of the co-authors of the book, 21 Resilient Women, and my chapter is chapter 8. When I was first asked to be a part of the writing of this book, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to write about. I thought about it and then decided to write about my life in Jamaica and focus on my mother's strength and her resilience and share how her strength and her resilience influenced my life. I had a great childhood but I encountered some class prejudice as I was growing up. I got married and immigrated to Canada where the marriage failed and I was left on my own, but did have siblings here in Canada, so I didn't feel totally alone. There were challenges of racial prejudice that I encountered here, but because of my late mother's influence, I was able to overcome the adversities and move on with my life. Thank you so much, Rampton Library, for helping us to share our story. This is Swetha Ragmi co-author of 21 Resilient Women. I'm a founder and CEO at Teach and Do, where I teach do's and don'ts to job seekers. I immigrated to Canada 21 years ago from Nepal. That's where the Mount Everest is. And my story is all about how do you bounce back in Canada and those survival jobs that you might have done. I can totally relate and it teaches you so much. If you're a newcomer to Canada, the message on the book that I have is go and mingle with the new people, get to know the Canadian culture. If you don't do it, nobody is going to come and do it for you. The second message that I have on the book is all about celebrating those skills from back home. You left your home, not your brain. Third message is speak up to be heard. My name is Laura Tomori. I am one of the co-authors of the book, 21 Resilient Women. My chapter is chapter 7 and it is titled, The Journey to Success is the Destination. You will find tips and strategies for overcoming rejection, facing challenges and barriers, especially in the area of career. It is often said that success is the ability to go from failure to failure without the loss of enthusiasm. The stories in the book will inspire, challenge, and encourage you. Collaborating on the book with my other co-authors has been an experience in the amazing, wonderful things that happen when women support women. Enjoy. Hi everyone, my name is Jeanette. I am one of the co-authors of the book, 21 Resilient Women, which I had the honor and privilege of, of you know, co-authoring with 20 other amazing women. Let me tell you a little bit about my chapter. It's called You Got This. And um, I share my journey from a small city in India, in Punjab, called Jalandhar, to Brampton in Peel region when I moved to Canada many moons ago. 
That decision came with many challenges. The transition came with many challenges, but I was able to utilize a lot of the resources that I knew were available to me in the community and also really be able to hone my skill sets and reacquaint myself with a lot of skill sets I thought that I didn't even have. Um, these were some of the things that really helped me become a better version of myself, both in my personal and my professional space. It's not easy, but I was able to do it. And I truly hope that with my story and the 20 other powerful stories, you are able to find inspiration and it inspires you not just to make a better version of yourself, but also be a productive individual in this community of ours. Thank you. Our greatest power emerges when we resolutely connect heart, mind, and spirit towards taking action on a cause for good. Alicia Sullivan. We are not just the accumulation of our life events, but more so how we are transformed as we rise out of adverse Amanda Edwards. Life is not a sequence of events where one moment has to happen before the next, but instead a compilation of moments, both good and bad, defining who you are and will be. Cassandra Edwards Resilience comes from doing difficult things, pushing your way through times, and treasuring your battle scars because they remind you of how strong you are. Evelyn Axelrod Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Jenny Okwanko Be bold enough to use your voice, brave enough to listen to your heart, and determined enough to live on purpose. Shirley Chisholm even when life threatens to take us to our knees, we can learn to recognize the seen and unseen forces present in our lives. Leslie Burns The fighter in me would not accept defeat. Melissa and more. Hola. Hi. I'm Marcela Rodriguez, one of the co-authors of 21 Resilient Women, a compilation of 21 stories of courage, growth, and transformation. We are a group of 21 women who share personal life experiences and lessons that have showed us the way to change and grow. My chapter is about one of the most significant lessons life has taught me, that change is the name of the game, and with change comes growth and understanding. Today, I live in Canada. I was born in Chile and I grew up in Venezuela. I'm a mother of two amazing kids and I'm raising them with my husband here in a very multicultural environment, I hope that through the pages of our book, you find inspiration and a testament of resilience that encourages you to embrace life, change, and transformation every day. Thank you. Gracias. Congratulations on your 12 years of anniversary. My name is Gloria Smith, and I am one of the co-authors of this book, 21 Resilient Women. My story is chapter 14 entitled Wingy Flags. It is about my story in Canada and all the obstacles that I face and how I overcome them. I want to thank Daisy and all the other co-authors for writing this book. Again, Congratulations and thank you. Now that you've had a chance to hear the authors and the messages that they are bringing, a little bit about me. My story is called Finding Opportunity in Adversity. As a woman and as an immigrant, I wrote the story of certain situations that put me in front of challenges that I had never thought I would have had to face. But as they say, you will never know your strengths until you're faced with situations that pull you and push you to be your best self. I'm proud I was able to overcome those adversities and stand tall and share the story. Towards the end, of the compilation and as the book wrapped up we had become a part of a sisterhood thanks to the efforts that daisy put into making sure that each of us had a voice felt heard and was taken care of emotions 
came up. She would often call me and some of the other authors, my sister from another mother. And that line, it stuck with me. A spoken word came to be. And I called it, my sister from another mother. The universe worked the magic of making this connection. My sister from another mother. Born in different parts of the world, in unlike cultures. My sister from another mother. Yet values were handed down to us by virtuous mothers. My sister from another mother. I value you and cherish you. My sister from another mother. I value the gifts you bring into my life and also that of my loved ones. My sister from another mother. Amongst many other things, you are my mentor, friend, and guide. My sister from another mother. You offer wisdom and are my sounding board. My sister from another mother. You coach when I seek advice. My sister from another mother. Your soothing words work like a cool balm on burns. My sister from another mother. You are the moonlight on a dark, dark night. My sister from another mother, a ray of sunshine on a clouded day. My sister from another mother, the universe sent you to me as a part of me. My sister from another mother, the universe sent you as a blessing in my life. And I know many others feel that way. The spoken word is dedicated to all women that come together and hold each other up, that are there and watch out for other women who are struggling. It has been an absolute privilege to be a part of such a wonderful group of women who make sure that other women in the group are taken care of. So I encourage you to go out and find your tribe. Remember, surround yourself with people who will be there for you, who will be by, by your side when you need them most. I wish you the very best and I hope you enjoyed this compilation. Thank you.